Even though the Chandrayaan 2 mission was not completely successful, it gave ISRO some useful experience. But we should also understand that Indians were trying to do it at a very low cost. Imagine what the Indian Space Agency can achieve if it is given a bigger budget. The unsuccessful landing of Vikram lander may have nothing to do with the budget, but a bigger budget will definitely allow ISRO to re-attempt the soft landing on the moon and take up many other ambitious projects. The time is probably right for the Indian government to increase the budget of ISRO. Now I would like you to see what the former American president, Barack Obama, had to say about NASA's budget. All that has to change. And with the strategy I'm outlining today, it will. We start by increasing NASA's budget by $6 billion over the next five years. By doing that, we will ramp up robotic exploration of the solar system, including a probe of the sun's atmosphere, new scouting missions to Mars and other destinations, and an advanced telescope to follow Hubble, allowing us to peer deeper into the universe than ever before. In comparison to NASA's massive annual budget of around 20 billion US dollars, the ISRO's budget is just 1.8 billion US dollars. According to NASA, its budget ensures that America remains the world's leader in space exploration and technology, aeronautics research and discovery in space and earth science. In contrast, the ISRO's vision statement indicates that its main focus is not to be a global leader, but to use the technology for national development while pursuing space science research and planetary exploration. A mood of optimism mixed with a little nervousness could be noticed among many Indian scientists, as quite understandably, the ISRO chairman had earlier said that the soft landing on the moon is going to be a terrifying moment. That did matter in the end, as at the very last moment, communication with the lander was lost at 2.1 km from the lunar surface. Disappointment was clearly visible, as India was very close to become the first country ever to achieve a soft control landing near the Moon's South Pole. The orbiter carried eight scientific payloads, which will map the lunar surface and study the Moon's outer atmosphere. The mission's budget was just $141 million, far lower than those of other countries. India was attempting to be the fourth country after Russia, the US and China to execute a soft landing on the moon. See you again.